Hello friends, let's learn how to use the find element activity and let's learn how to utilize these properties. Okay, for this I'll be using a site called acmesystem.1 and using this we will demonstrate the usage of find element activity. Myself Rakesh from UiPath Expo Hub channel. In case you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and please do like the videos that you're watching. Please do support our channel. Thank you very much. With that, let's get started. Now, the very first thing I want to do is I want to open a particular web page, right? So I'll use an open browser activity. Okay. And here I want to insert that specific URL. So I'm going to provide you this URL or you can take a note of this URL. Okay. Here I'm going to, I'll put this in the description. So this is done. Now, once it opens this particular URL, what I want, I want to use a find element activity. Now, the question here comes, what is this and what is the use of find element activity? So, let me tell you, find element activity waits for the specified UI element to appear. For example, in our case, this is the website and I have if I am going to point out to the specific email address it's going to wait for that specific UI element to appear on the screen okay so once it appears on the screen or to be in the foreground I mean it will appear it will become uh, it will appear on our uh, foreground screen and returns it as a UI element variable so the best part of this it returns the output as an UI element so if it is a UI element, I can literally work on multiple attributes of an UI element. You know, a UI element will have a name, a state, app name, application path. So all these attributes that is there for a UI element, I should be able to pull those data and work on them. Okay. So let's see how it is being done. So for that, I'll go back to your studio and I'm using find element and I'm going to click on indicate element inside a browser. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to indicate that let me escape and do it once again and ensure while you do keep the specific site at the background and then click on indicate element and here I am going to highlight this specific UI element okay where we have the email address so I have done that and once I do it on the right hand side I have an option which talks about output found element and this is a kind of a UI um, element using which we can pull lot many different attributes. Let me show you that. So all you have to do is control plus K and create a variable. Let's say a found element. So you can give any name of your choice. So I'm saying found element. All right. So it will find that once it finds that element, it is going to store that specific UI element, all the data into this particular variable. Okay. Now there are a couple of specific things you should know about. One is wait for ready. So wait for ready. There are three different options. None means it will not wait whether it's going to come, uh, it's going to appear or it's becoming visible. It's going to work. Interactive means it's going to wait for the page to become interactive. Complete means it completely wait for it to load all the UI elements of the page, then it will act. Okay, so um, it will wait. So if you don't want to wait, you go for none. If you want the entire page to completely or you know in become interactive, then you will go, go with these options. Okay, generally we will go with none. If required, you can, if you know the page takes a lot of time to load, then you can go with a complete so that it waits for the page to load and then it will act okay so that is one of the option the other one if you see this selector okay so if you click on the selector this has selected the specific ui element that we have mentioned okay so for example this is the ui element let, let, let us do once again i don't know something might have went wrong so let me click on this rakis h7 for you once again all right so this becomes the select a ui element right now it is not able to validate reason being first we have to open then it will do the job so don't worry about that specific error that we have on the screen when we open that all right now the other options that we have wait active wait visible so what is the meaning of wait active when the checkbox is selected the activity waits for the specified ui element to become active active on the page it will become functional if you want that you can check this wait visible you want to wait for that specific ui element to become visible so that a human can see that okay becoming active can happen at the background and becoming visible will, might take a little more time so if you want to do that even you can go with such 
uh, optional things that we have here on this property window okay so once we are done with all of it now the next thing i want to do is use a activity called get attribute activity drag and drop this activity okay now here for this activity what i'm going to do the output of find element which is found element variable i'm going to use this variable as an input for the get attribute activity so here in the element page you know you have to expand this target in case not then in the element section here you have to type in the variable of the previous activity the output of the previous activity okay so that becomes input for this uh, activity now what i'm going to do i'm going to use a ui explorer ui explorer you can open just by clicking on this window on your ui path studio open ui explorer this is very much necessary that you open ui explorer so once you have the ui explorer open what you do click on indicate element and highlight this specific one okay so once you have highlighted why you have to use ui explorer because this gives you a list of attributes that you can utilize so let's say i once the element is available on the page i want to retrieve the a name okay what is the a name or i want to retrieve let's say the inner text i want to retrieve okay so all of this attribute i can use so that's why you have to know the exact name of that attribute so this is inner text uh, let's say i want to pull uh, uh, visibility either visibility 1 or 0 i want to pull the status of this so depending on the attribute you you have to use the ui explorer to determine which attribute you want okay so here i want uh, the attribute called inner text so what i have to do that is only for your reference purpose so here come over here and you have already supplied the input element for this one now here all you have to do is select the specific attribute so here i want to select the inner text where is the inner text scroll down scroll up look for the inner text okay there it is all right now this output i want to store in a variable control plus k so this is uh, inner text right inner text all right so i have created a variable go back to the variable panel just see that so it's a string variable which is correct now all i want to do use a right line activity and here simply mention inner text done so let's do one thing let me save this and close this one and try to run this workflow and see if it can pull the data for us okay it has started okay so it is going to open so what went wrong um, it started opening in the internet explorer rather than google chrome right so that went wrong so let me quickly stop this and let me change so what i have to change here everything should work on the chrome so here while you are opening the browser in the open browser activity all you have to do browse for types i am going to select chrome okay done save it and try to run once again okay all right so this time it has opened in chrome and it has highlight that specific it has found the element and the workflow is complete okay so if i go back to the output panel now i should be able to find the inner text which is rakesh 874 gmail.com so this is not only for inner text any of this attribute you wanted to retrieve and try to work on that you can utilize so this is a demo as to how you utilize the find element activity so remember the find element activity waits for the specified ui element to appear on the screen and to be in the foreground and returns it as a ui element where the output is very very important for this activity it returns the output as ui element so it becomes very very handy for us to and becomes very very useful there's another couple of things i want to show you um, for the find element activity uh, we have something called timeout millisecond okay so what is this timeout millisecond generally uh, when you are opening a web page it might take 
you know it may load within 30 seconds generally but there will be couple of websites which may take even longer it, it may even take 60 seconds or it may, may even take one maybe one minute to load all the ui elements so in such cases in such cases generally if you do not define anything it is going to wait for 30 seconds okay so it will wait for the element to appear and become um, appear on the screen for 30 seconds if that goes beyond it will throw an exception saying the element is not found so in case you you know already that your web page takes a lot more time to load it takes a minute time to load so all you have to do time out millisecond here you have to mention the time let's say i i want to wait for 60 uh, seconds so i will say 60 thousand milliseconds okay so that means it will wait at least for one minute before it throws an exception so that is the usage of find element guys thank you for watching and keep learning ui path we have a great future for rpa and i'm sure you will complete all the learnings that is available uh, on ui path thank you so much you guys have a great day